Welcome back, everyone. Once again, another video outside of my norm, but I'm telling you, this is just too good to pass up. And it's a great time to spread the word about it. Unfortunately, I can't say too much about it at the same time. Not the full story, anyway, and there is a reason why, but I'll get to that reason down the line. So, let's start back at the beginning. Now then, I normally don't use Instagram. I am not that kind of guy. However, when a user on a mutual Discord posted about a new ARG on Instagram, cited at desolate underscore survivor, I gave it a chance on a whim and ended up down a massive rabbit hole. Not only was there a page there, but there was also two other pages connected to it, inauthentic underscore existence and underscore cloudy dot dreamer. Across the three of them, a bunch of codes and a single Discord of their own making. Going back on the timeline to the first post on Desolate Survivor's page, we get this posted on June 26, 2021. If you skip through the video frame by frame, you will eventually get a short sequence of letters and numbers, M A Z to E B W T R W, uh, with a variety of different capitalizations and, um, Lowercase, I will flash it up on the screen really quick. Uh, that is, in fact, the latter half to a Discord link, which is now posted at the top of each of the three pages. The audio in this is Morse code. When translated, it comes out to, Will you help me? The second post, which was titled Signal, has quote-unquote yet to be solved, as it is not having any sort of clues whatsoever, or at least any obvious ones, taking the appearance of an eye. It does seem to be connected to another part of the project, but we will get to that soon. The third post in the timeline comes from Inauthentic Existence, and again was posted on June 26. As I wasn't here the day of, I can't speak to the true order of events, only what order they were discovered in. That said, the second and third posts could have been swapped at what exact times they were posted in the timeline. But for now, here's what that post looks like. Right off the bat, we have Morse code and reversed audio. The Morse code translates to prepare for my arrival, and the reversed audio came out as three minds, three visions, three worlds. Desolate Survivor posted again on the next day on June 27th with this image titled Happened. Inside is a bunch of URL strings layered on top of one another. When added to the end of a YouTube link, most of them act as dead links. However, uh, YGGUAA1TA14 does work and brings up this video on YouTube, which at the time was unlisted, but is now public for all to watch. My world was ending. The people turned into animals. The skyline shrouded in the overcast of destruction. I once believed we could start over. But I now know that was a foolish mistake. Still, after the years of war had ended and countries were at peace, what was left was heartbreaking. The worst of it all was the people in charge had no clue they caused it. So when splinters approached me, I couldn't have been happier. Things would be different. Now I don't know if it was worth it. What have we accomplished? After the years of war had ended and countries were at peace, what was left was heartbreaking? Uh, yeah, sure as heck sounds serious. Uh, as for the most code, it translates to looked down at her, the blood dripped from the knife, I don't know what happened, but I had to. We wouldn't have to wait long for more info as Cloudy Dreamer would make two posts on June 27th, titled Contact and Marley Can You See Me. No word on who Marley is, but we can at least say that these are the same post. One has just had the text larger as the first one is kind of impossible to read. Anyways, if you transcribe the probe, you get the following. 104, 116, 116, 112, 115, 058, 
47, 047, 121, 111, 117, 116, 117, 046, 098, 101, 047, 051, 081, 068, 079, 048, 098, 065, 078, 089, 106, and 056. And whenever I say O, I actually mean zero. <laughs> so be sure you put that in correctly when you're typing it in, if you want to type it in. Anyways, this is decimal code, and when translated to ASCII text formatting, you get the YouTube link in this video. <laughs> Okay, so there's a bunch of hidden stuff in this video, but not to worry, as I have images to help us out. At around the two-second mark, we get a flash of text that reads, Am I flawed? At seven seconds, we get more text in into the bust. It's a bit hard to read due to how this video was made, but I believe it says, I was a seeker of the truth, and yet I am the one who makes it. We also get this image which pops up for a single frame. The text, of course, saying, am I too kind? That code in the top is a hexadecimal code, or hex code for short. When translated, it comes out as, I see the world, but I cannot speak with it. I hear its cries, but I cannot silence them. Everyone has disbanded. The nations fell with ease, but I still have hope. If not for this world, then the next. I cannot change the past, but I can change our future. You are my key headers. Now, this is something I've yet nor to bring up, but each account has a name tied to it. Inauthentic Existence is Hedos, Desolate Survivor is Carrie, and Cloudy Dreamer is Carter. It's also important to note that all three of them are female. At around the 12 seconds, we get the words, Am I Ignorant? This is followed up with the logo for Cloudy Dreamer with more hex code turned to the side. I know it's hard to read, but please trust my translation. It has been confirmed as correct. Anyways, the translation comes out to... Not everyone is as they seem. Allies turn to enemies. Trust consumed by greed. Why have we been tortured? I love the thing that brought me pain. And then we get one last flash of text at the 16 second mark asking, am I broken? On June 28th, we got two posts in quick succession titled, No, from Desolate Survivor, and Yes, from Cloudy Dreamer. Both have codes in binary, and when translating No, it just spits back the link to Lost Hope, the first video we went over. However, translating yes gives us a YouTube link to a new video on Desolate Survivor's channel, called X. Like last time, we got more codes to solve. The first is a hex string that is really hard to read, but I think comes out to, I was happy without my ears. The words cut me down. Their actions made me burn. Beth was innocent. That couldn't do shit to someone nine met. Of course I had to stop them. But that wasn't it, was it? You... You enjoyed it. You didn't fear me. You welcomed me. Now then, I say I think because this code actually slipped through the cracks and went unsolved, meaning that like when I first joined the game later in the timeline, I had to solve it myself. And I think that the 9 met line might be shorthand for 9 meters, but again, I'm not sure. Try giving this a crack yourself, and eh, believe me, it's worth it. And unfortunately, I have no way in order to verify right now about whether or not this is correct. The next image pops up around about 4 seconds into the video. Now then, this looks like decimal code, but it is in fact octal code, and it actually went unsolved for a few days before I popped up on the Discord, as no one had seen octal code before I had brought it up, so it got retroactively translated. Anyway, the code says, I thought I was saving everyone by taking their lives, but even if I succeeded, I lost myself in the process. I'll be whole again. Soon, Carter. We will see each other again. We also got one bit of octal code at the end at around the 13 second mark, coming out as, The king has no ties. Our goals are separate. This is where I officially joined the game the evening of June 29th, crossing over into June 30th, because yay, insomnia. 
Anyways, the latest post had come from Cloudy Dreamer hours before with a string of octal code that no one had figured out yet was octal code. A translation there brought up a string of hex code, and translation of that hex code led to the next YouTube video titled Trust. <laughs> First off, the most obvious is the Morse code. I actually got to translate this one myself and it comes out to, nothing is as it seems, don't get attached, don't fall into trust. But it's not the only thing we got. We got three more images of codes to solve. First image we got was a huge string of binary that many people attempted and I'm not sure exactly who got it, but it does translate to, Carrie, I know you're scared. Just listen to me, this isn't your fault. I know what happened. We can still keep your freedom. Carrie, please, I know. Yes, just think. Is there anything you can say that would help? He did? Okay, good. Maybe self-defense? No, don't say that. You... Carrie? Now then, the he in there could also be a she, but again, I can't define the source to this, and this is the second to hardest code to read in the whole ARG, so yeah, I'm not gonna bother to confirm by retranslating the binary myself. Second image we get has hex code that you have to look at by flipping the image on the horizontal axis to read properly. Translating this code as I did in the Discord, you get, I gave you everything I could. I shared my pain. I gave you my heart. In return, you stole my voice. You turned my trauma into insanity. I remain neutral only to be judged by everyone. Why are you like this? Where is your compassion? And of course, one third and final image in octal code to solve, giving us, I'm looking around. The streets are full of rapists and murderers. Curfews are set to give us false sense of security. Even in the day, terror strikes. First hand, I know this. My lack of sound makes your cries louder. I feel your pain. Let me help you. Let me mend your broken pieces, the hatred of this world. Alas, onto new grounds I go. It's a shame to leave them behind, but no, I have to focus. I need you, Riley. You might have noticed that I have mentioned names for other characters that don't make too much sense with what has been presented, but thankfully if you dig around in the Discord page, you can find some answers, and there have been more videos and more codes released since the last one I just went over. However, one of the rules in the Discord, Rule 7, states not to reveal information from higher levels of authentication. As I am of a higher level of authentication, I do have, and I do have a lot more info that I wish I could share. But I will withhold for now out of respect for the creator or creators of this ARG. If you want to continue the story where I left off, then head over to Hedos' page on Instagram at inauthentic underscore existence and click on the second post and try everything you can on the image's contents. As for theories of what the hell is going on in this story-wise with this ARG, I'm going to have to save that for a deep dive after we officially reach an ending. Currently, this game is merely sleeping, and it gives you a good chance in order to catch up and get ready for when this thing rises like an aggressive zombie. Special thanks goes to the Discord user Just a Twink for the creation and management of the Google Doc. It was a massive help in the creation of this video. And I know this is a shit ending for the vid, but that's why I called it Desolate Survivor Explored and not Explained. We do not have enough to explain it yet, and just enough to know the situation and more story is coming. 
I've included links to the original Instagram pages down below, as well as the YouTube channels and the Discord. Please, if you've enjoyed this and all, then pay it forward and give this project a look, as well as share it with more people. If for whatever reason you happen to enjoy me or the things I do, even though this really isn't my normal form of content outside of the times I flip the script on Nick and covering the Five Nights at Freddy's merch ARG, then feel free to throw me a like or maybe subscribe. I know that I will revisit this topic eventually. It's only a matter of time. Speaking of which, it's time for me to go. So, until next time, this is T-Man Dude 291, signing out.